Legends, I hope you're all fantastic. On today's video, I'm going to try some new strings on my Les Paul. This is a 2002 Standard Premium Plus. I have swapped the pickups out on this guitar for some fantastic Martin A. Smith pickups here. They're essentially PAF clones. I love the double cream look on there. And I think they sound pretty good on this guitar. Definitely leans it more towards a kind of vintage vibe. So I want to try something I haven't tried on this guitar before. I'm going to try some DR Pure Blues. I've been using their DDT 11 to 54s on my main gigging guitars in drop C and chatting to Stefan at DR. They suggested that I should try out some Pure Blues for two reasons. The outer wind on these, these are round wound, is pure nickel. And the actual core on the string is a round core as opposed to a more modern hexagonal core that you get on a string. So there should be some definite differences in tone from the materials just used, but I'm quite keen to try these from like a feel perspective. Again, I'm kind of leaning into the vintage vibe with this guitar. I want to see how well they work on a Les Paul. So let's just hear the old strings that I've got on here for a reference. I'll let you hear the DI tone as well as it through a kind of crunchy Marshall style thing. And then we will restring these. And one thing that's kind of nice about these is, you know, they come in a sealed packet and you actually get three little wrappings in here. So the strings are paired up. So I guess that cuts down on like 50% of the stuff that you're probably going to chuck into the trash anyway. And there is a little kind of crimping routine that you need to do when you attach the strings on here. DR have some videos about that, but basically, you know, when you put the string through rather than just pulling it through and then doing what you would normally do by winding it. You pull it through to the desired length and then you crimp it and that ensures that you won't get any dead strings. That is, as I understand it, one thing that you have to do with these round core, round wound strings. So let's hear this with the old strings and thanks to the magic of television, we will restring the guitar very quickly. This would be so fun with the 12 string set. And one last chicken crimpy. Alrighty, I think we are roughly in tune. I haven't stretched these. I've literally just bought them up to pitch, so I expect they're gonna move around a little bit, but let's do the old G to D chord test on this. They're not quite as bright as I expected acoustically, actually. They feel pretty good. They feel nice and kind of smooth. I'm gonna to have to intone this guitar because I've changed to a different brand and slightly different gauge of string. All right, let's hear that. That's pretty interesting. I expected them to be super duper bright for some reason. I don't know why I think of that whenever I think of vintage strings, but maybe my preconceptions were the wrong way around. I'm gonna give these a couple of days to really settle in. I will check the intonation on my guitar and get it perfectly set up for these particular strings. I'll let them have a couple of days, which I generally like with new strings, and then we'll come back and we'll do that G to D chord test again, and I'll give you some impressions after playing them for a few days. <laughs>
things immediately spring to mind now that I've got these settled in. The first one is I'm getting a little bit more of that Les Paul meets Telecaster or Tele on steroids kind of sound that a lot of people talk about with old Les Pauls, you know, PAF style pickups, vintage style strings. I never tried vintage style strings on this before and I'm liking it. It's definitely giving me more of what I wanted out of this particular guitar. The other thing is the feel. I mean, the plain strings just feel like plain strings. You know, they're definitely not a coded string, but it's not something like when I tried NYXLs where they had this, I don't know, kind of odd, almost like decelerating feeling under my fingers. And I know a lot of people love NYXLs and that is absolutely not a knock on them, but I am kind of used to more of the kind of slippery coded strings. So, you know, these aren't coded, but they're nice and smooth but I definitely notice more of the smoothness on the lower round wound strings. And I don't know if that's just because of, you know, the material that they're using to actually wind around it and what the spacing is, but you feel kind of like less of the ridges or something like that. Not as extreme as say using flat wounds, but I wonder if that's because you've got the round core in there and the way the wire wraps around this is purely speculation. Maybe somebody who knows a lot about strings could answer that for me. So they're the two big takeaways there for me. And, you know, it sounds good. They're staying in tune. They're intonable, which is really important on a guitar that I like to play a lot. The uh, old set of strings that I had on here, you know, the intonation was definitely going on the A string and that was just a dead string, I think. But it's feeling pretty good. I actually put a set of them on my Strat, which oh, I'll just lean over conveniently have over here. So here's a super scientific comparison. The same gauge and brand of strings on two different guitars. I'm going to play a G chord because G chord is obviously the theme of the week. Nice and loud and zingy. And then also nice and loud and zingy. On the Strat, I think the jury's out for me. I need to play around with them a little bit more. It's giving me way more of that old school kind of blues vibe but maybe there's a little bit too much of that Kerrang in there because the Strat is super bright. Whereas on a Les Paul style guitar, having that extra little bit of brightness, which I'm assuming is coming from the pure nickel on there, it might be something else. Again, purely subjective stuff. I think it works really, really well. So yeah, I've got more time to spend with these strings. If you're a DR Blues user and you really, really love these strings, or there's another brand of string that you really, really love that you want me to try out with this, totally non-scientific subjective way of talking about strings, please let me know in the comment section below. If you want to support my channel, there's some links in the video description. Again, a shout out to DR for supplying some strings for this particular video. And I feel like I should play some blues on some DR blues. Catch you next time.